Yo, 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 John Hope, John Hope Bryant here. Uh, this is Money and Wealth with JHB. So, reader ass, listener ass, supporter ass, how can I make $10,000 in two weeks if my life depended on it? Uh, I don't want to say who the, who the listener was because I'm about to blow up the question. The answer is you can't unless you rob somebody and then you put your own life at risk, right? <laughs> I mean, you can't is a big word, right? My middle name is Hope. I'm not saying you can't. The likelihood of you being able to do this legally to make $10,000 in two weeks, and I assume in this question, you're working class, you're middle class, or you're not. I mean, I can make $10,000 in two weeks, but I don't need it, right? <laughs> if you if you need it, right, the very the very nature of you needing it is, you know, it's, re it's relevant to you, then the likelihood of you being able to legitimately, honestly make $10,000 in two weeks is very low which means you're gonna have to do something sketchy and which means you're gonna put your life at risk reminds me of chris rock said dude this next door neighbor uh, robbed him and he knew he robbed him he's like guys said, hey man what, what's going on i heard you got robbed he said you, you didn't hear stuff because you were doing stuff <laughs> you robbed me <laughs> so yeah don't don't rob anybody and it's uh and don't do anything illegal and and because, uh, you know, karma's real and whatever goes around comes around. And if it looks too good to be true, it normally is. So, yeah, that's a no the short answer to the question is you, you really can't legitimately um, make $10,000 in two weeks. Now, that's the bad news. Everything else I would tell you is the good news. By the way, in love is work. Non-love is laziness. Anti-love is evil. Evil exists, but it's very rare. Most people are just lazy intellectually lazy, financially lazy, physically lazy, spiritually lazy. They don't want to do the work. They want somebody else to do it for them. Only in the dictionary does the word success come before the word work because it's alphabetical, right? So here's the good news. You know, you got to do the work. Everybody has to do the work. And um, now, you know, if you do the work from the neck up, from the shoulders down, you work smart, not hard, you can get to a point i.e. my story, my story, where you can make $10,000 in two weeks. But at that point, you're compounding mostly. Like in other words, uh, you make money during the day, you build wealth in your sleep. So I will get a check for something. And I'm like, what's this for? You, th that's where you, th that's where you want to get. But it took it's taken me 20, 30 years to get there. What's this for means it's interest on you know, a dividend. It's dividend dividend payment, you know, or interest on stocks and bonds or interest on some real estate investment or rent or something like that. It's some, it's some payment off of an asset. Um, and the asset's not on your <clears throat> ASS, right? This is a real asset, right? And you're benefiting, you're benefiting from it. By the way, it's, it's an old saying, but it's true. And this, this is that further up the ladder you get sort of story. Yeah, it's, it's easier to make, uh, no, it's harder to make 10,000, what's well, harder to make a thousand on 10,000 than it is to make 10,000 on a hundred thousand, but it's harder to make 10,000 on a hundred thousand than it is to make a hundred thousand on 10 million. If you have 10 million, it's actually pretty easy to make a hundred thousand dollars a year. It's actually, if you have, excuse me, 4 million, $3 million a year. Uh, sorry, in assets, you can make uh, uh, six figures without lifting a finger, just in passive income. You never touch the principal if you just make sound conservative investments in the stock market or there's a range of other things you can do. Um, and if and if it goes, it stands reason if you're making if you have a billion dollars in assets, then it's actually pretty easy, not pretty easy. It's easier, you know, well, you, it, there's a line of sight to, you know, a hundred million dollars a year if you have a billion dollars in assets. Uh, that's 10%, by the way, um, uh, uh, of of return on the billion dollars where your principal doesn't go away and you've made 10% of that, which is $100 million. So, so compounding, the more you make, the easier it is to make more on what you made. Now, unless you're just hustling, unless you're just trying to make a dollar out of 15 cents, you're just trying to, you're always trying to make some moolah, some money, some cash, you know, again, you get into that whole scamming, messing around uh, world where, you know, somebody's literally trying to get rich quick. So um, 
multi-level marketing. You know, there's a lot of people running around. I do, I'm, uh, you know, I'm, I'm going to do a whole separate si- situation on scams. So I'm not getting into that now. But the short answer to this question is, yes, it is possible. Uh, you know, anything's possible, right? So I don't want to diminish your, I don't want to discourage you or dismin- diminish your overall enthusiasm for whatever dream you have, right? Anybody can get lucky. But the rational, reasonable, you know, um, I'm not going to get shot or killed or arrested <laughs> answer to can somebody who makes $50,000 a year make $10,000 in two weeks if their life depended on it? The answer to that is probably not unless your life does depend on it. All right, I'm out. 